Happy New Year, everyone. And for those on the old Julian calendar, Merry Christmas. Christ is born, glorify Him. Here's to an uneventful year of 2021. Well, good luck I didn't live stream then. I would have two people in total in attendance. When the news hit, I made this meme. It contained no position from my side. I just had to use a photograph that was bound to become iconic. It is what is referred to brilliantly as a meme mine. Someone in the comments section suggested I make a video on the storming of the Capitol Hill building. And I was like, hey, sure, why not? But then the common sense kicked in. Here is a handy dandy diagram of why it is a bad idea for me to make a video on this subject. In the middle there's me, and there are four horses of annoyed comments. First, people who would be angry at me supporting the storming of the Capitol Hill. Second, people who would be angry at me for opposing it. Third, people who would be angry at me for being neutral. And finally, people who would be angry at me for talking about politics. However, I think that this video had to be made because I want to enter this year with a good view count. Yes, I am calculated, I'm a YouTuber after all. If you're a Christian and think that this event is significant, I agree and disagree with you. I agree with you in the sense that all of our actions matter, and that each second we opt to be with Christ or without Christ. However, I disagree with you in the sense that this event is one speck of insignificance compared to the glory of the Kingdom of God, and I believe you can take both sides in this issue with Christ. I won't elaborate further. We should be good citizens and pay taxes and pray for our authorities. One of the amazing things about Christianity is how it left its persecutors completely confused at these horrid atheists who did not worship the Emperor and yet were so zealous in fulfilling their duties and loving their neighbors. I've lived and still do in quite a state. I've been in communism that destroyed my country, then lived under a dictator who destroyed my country, then under a democracy that destroyed my country, and currently I'm under a new dictator who's destroying my country under a guise of democracy. In the grand scheme of things, None of these things matter. The scripture is clear that we should not put our hopes in the princes of men, and that is true. It was always true, and shall always be true. We may debate to no end who is less worthy of us putting our hope in them, whether princes or presidents. I find them all equally disappointing. There is a reason why our Lord evaded with all his might being crowned a king and that the only crown he wore while he walked this earth was the one of thorns. He promised us another comforter, and that comforter was no king or queen or president or speaker of the parliament or archduke or viscountess, but the spirit whose only reigning place can be a human heart. The biggest challenge today, at least in the West, is people losing faith in God, and this is where we should direct our forces, for where faith is lost, souls are lost. It is a fine thing to be a civil activist for whatever cause you espouse, but it should always be secondary to your calling as an evangelist, as an apostle, as a disciple, as the one who will shine a light of the Holy Trinity into someone's life. Until then, politics is just a reality show, a pastime to give you an illusion of participation. A man and a woman. Manuscript, womanscript, transcript, manicure, female cure, humanist, humanist, germany, germany, many, womany, mango, femango, necromancy, necrowomancy.